What could I possibly do with just one potato? I love baked potatoes, mashed potatoes, potato salad, but we do a lot of that in the house over and over again. So I came up with a new recipe that's really cool and it looks beautiful and tastes delicious. So to start, potatoes. You can use either a Yukon Gold for a more creamy, buttery texture or a russet that's gonna get a little bit more crispy. So what you wanna do, here's the real trick to this recipe, is cut just a tiny slice off the very bottom of the long side of the potato so that it now sits flat. And you don't have to waste this, you can just put that right on your baking sheet and bake it up. And what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna make about 20 or so slices down the potato, about three fourths of the way down. Because what you're trying to do is, these are potato fans. So when the potato cooks, it's gonna eventually fan out and the little individual pieces will get nice and crispy, tender in the middle, but really delicious. Easy for kids to pull apart and just like a beautiful, fun side dish that everyone really loves. So I'm just making these, and these are about a quarter inch slices all the way through. But really, when you're cutting down, you want to make sure that you cut only to about right there there, you want not that part because if you cut straight down, then it'll fall off. They'll break in half, and you don't want to do that. So we're just going to keep going all the way across. Like I said, 20 slices, and this is one of those recipes that the first time I made it, the kids came down for dinner and they were like, oh. I mean, it just looked so super cool, uh, and they loved pulling the little slices apart. And it really does for a dinner party. There's nothing easier than making a dish like this. It's really inexpensive also because potatoes obviously aren't um, very expensive. And you know, when you wanna make a dish that the presentation is beautiful but doesn't take a lot of t extra time, this is really one of those super easy things to make. Okay, so there's your potato. Right on a baking sheet, couldn't be easier. Don't forget about your slice on the bottom. And then I've just got a mixture here of uh, some butter and some oil, equal parts, and I'm just gonna brush it all over the potato. Um, you don't have to like overdo it either, just so that it's getting golden, the outside, this will help the outside skin get nice and crispy. And you're just gonna put it in the oven. You're gonna bake this at 475 degrees for about a half an hour. You're gonna take it out, and when it starts to separate after that half an hour, you're gonna go right back in, give it another coating of the butter and the oil, and a little bit of, right here, almost forgot my salt, a little bit of salt, but I also like to do herbs. You could do like Southwestern style with a little bit of cumin, even some paprika. You could do more like thyme, parsley, rosemary. You could even do nutritional yeast on it, whatever you want, herbs, spices. Love this, it's a potato, of course. And when they come out, they're gonna look like how cool is that? They're potato fans. Aren't they gorgeous? This was the Yukon Gold. This was the Russet. I mean, they're both just absolutely delicious. And I mean, come on. How much is your family gonna live for that? You can even pull it off and you could um, dip it into any kind of condiment you want or even any more, uh, but just some butter. But it's simple. It is what it is. It's delicious. For more fast, fresh, easy recipes like this and more, check out Wheelicious.com. Mmm, mmm, it's like a potato chip, it's so good.